very good to know, Aunt Storm. So I'm 20 and then I turn 21 in May. That's a crazy thing to say. <laughs> I don't even know who said that. The one who said a red flag, bro. <laughs> I am indeed Spanish, Mexican, German, and then indigenous. I live in the state of Georgia. I'm vibing. It's been a pretty chill day, I'm gonna lie. What's up, Bando? Bandolero? Hope I said that right. <laughs> I am not Egyptian. You just make up new ethnicities for me every single live and storm. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, so you're in Florida, Peyton? That's nice. Dang, the washing machine is cooking right now. Do y'all hear that? <laughs> TV is so thin. I feel like most TVs nowadays are that thin. Oh, I'm 5'8". I'm decently tall. What is it? What do you mean I sound American English? I'm from America, so I do speak American English. Is that what you mean? Like, I'm not British, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not extremely tall. I'm only 5'8", but I mean, that's pretty tall, but I'm, I'm relatively tall. <laughs> Itchy and Scratchy is a crazy username. <laughs> I kind of love it. <laughs> it's not the washing machine, it's the dishwasher. But yeah, it's going ham, it's going crazy. Can you mean to turn it off? Oh, no, 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 you're good. I is it super loud, chat? Is it like annoying? I mean, I would like to wash my dishes, but <laughs> I'm 5'8". Let's go, tall girl gang, Alexis. <laughs> Captain Cosplay reporting in. Wait, that's sick. <laughs> I do have the nears on my top teeth, but not my bottom teeth. I got them when I was Miss Georgia Teen USA. I love being tall. I wish I was taller. Like, I want to be 5'10". I am a size 9 shoe. That's a really good guess. It's too loud. Stop washing dishes. I don't want, but my, they're already ha like half ran. <laughs> oh, I did not get them in Turkey, no. No, I mean, not that people getting in Turkey are bad, but it's just, I went to um, the Atlanta Center of Cosmetic Dentistry. Like I would not fly all the way to Turkey for something. That's crazy. Um, I only got them because they were given to me for free because I was Miss Georgia Teen USA. Um, otherwise I would not have done it because like veneers are expensive. I would not have paid for those personally. Um, yeah, but I just can't, I, there's just nothing I would want done enough to fly to another country, if I'm being honest. Like, <laughs> red flag to be the same height? No. <laughs> yeah, I just, there, I cannot think of anything. Maybe if I was bald and wanted a hair transplant, I'd go to Turkey. But I, so I wanted to curb stomp Dominic again, but he won't get on. So I guess we're not battling tonight. We're just Jay chilling, but I like chilling with y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I would. I would do it for that itchy and scratchy. Um, yeah, Mr. Partain, Dom won't get on. SMH. Yeah, no, power to you. Like, I think people dog on hair transplants, but if that's what makes you confident, go for it. Now I'm itchy and scratchy. <laughs> um, red flag military people? Dang, I guess that makes my brother a red flag. Thanks for following, Sebastian. That's crazy because if you actually knew me, Dorf, you would know I have the biggest ego. So I don't know if I need any more confidence than I already have. <laughs> that would be a net negative for the world. Thank you, Sebastian, for the rose. <laughs> I would like to visit Dubai. That would be really cool. Um, I just, I haven't been able to travel in anywhere in Europe or Asia yet. Um, but. <laughs> a nine year age gap, I mean, it completely depends on the age. That's kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like with that big of an age gap, you should be at least 25. Like the youngest person in the relationship should be 25, is what I feel. 
Um, no, I still have all my real teeth. <laughs> uh, my, they just lay on top of my real teeth. I would love to visit Australia too. I've only ever been to Mexico and then some places in the Caribbean. Yeah, so crowns are when they shave your teeth down to nubs and cap them. I don't have crowns. I have the ones that just lay on top, which are veneers. <laughs> join, yes, join team Isabella. We're at 126 members after only three days of live streaming. It's crazy. <laughs> Isaac, I don't think you should be advertising that. A 28 year old marrying a 19 year old is not appropriate. Um, that, I don't condone that at all. I don't agree with that. I don't think you should be advertising. Hopefully it works out for y'all. Truly, I wish the best for y'all, but I'd say for 99% of individuals, 19 year olds are just not mature enough to, thank you Ryan for the bunny ears, to be marrying a 28 year old. That's insane. I, I can't get on that train. Thank you for the rose, David. Um, but that's just me. I truly hope the best for y'all. Thank you, Cisco, for the rose. Um, for the 19-year-old's sake. <laughs> Thank you, London, for the rose. Dominic, like the dude I battled, I'm 20. Because his name is spelled with a K at the end, so I'm just clarifying. <laughs> Dude, I was massacring. He doesn't want this smoke. I truly hope the best for y'all, Itchy and Scratchy, but I do think most 18 year olds are not mature enough to be dating someone of that age. Thank you for the bunny ears. Like, I just, how do you not, if you're 27, like, how are you like, mentally stimulated by an 18 year old you know like I feel like you don't get <sighs> try not to be like too judgy here like I, I truly hope that y'all are happy in these relationships but I genuinely don't understand how you could be mentally emotionally fulfilled by someone that much younger than you and someone who has so much maturing left to do in life you know what I'm saying like no, I'm not tensing my stomach, but I could, if, if I was flexing, y'all would see these abs. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, itchy and scratchy. Like, nice to have around isn't like a really great thing to say about a partner. I, you know, maybe you're not someone who dates for marriage, but like typically you should be getting fulfilled more from a partner than that. Yeah, if that's what I'm saying, Scott. Like, I feel like there you just won't be able to be fulfilled when you have that much of a maturity gap. You're at completely different stages in life. Like you, I personally can't imagine being like 27, 28, and my girl being like, I'm rushing for Zeta, Al Zeta Ta Alpha. Like, can you, I'm going to my frat party tonight. Like, have fun at your nine to five corporate job. <laughs> like, she scratches me for it. It's just is crazy. <laughs> it's just like completely different stages of life. So, and I personally date to marry. So like, I just, you know, <laughs> thank you, Mr. London. Um, and I like, someone did mention, I know in other cultures, it's different. Um, I'm obviously not gonna dog on any other culture, but like, that's still just like my opinion when it comes to like, mental fulfillment because in my opinion um emotional like fulfillment mental stimulation um being able to have like intelligent matching maturity like conversations with your partner is just as important as like physical connection and just 